Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Okay, so Katie Pavlik, uh, right winger, works at Fox News. She blocked me on Twitter uh, <laughs> about a couple years ago. What did you say, Roland? Because she, she's also a, 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 a crazy gun person, Second Amendment. And she said some foolish stuff, and I had to smack her down, and hell, I was right, she was wrong, so she like, oh, block. That's what happens when you're weak because you can't debate people. I only block people who use the N-word or who use coon, who use racial slurs, okay? I, got a, I ain't got a problem debating. But y'all check this out. She was on Fox News yesterday. <laughs> was it yesterday or today? It was today. And they were talking about... <laughs> just, just, just press play. <laughs> <laughs> they, they keep blaming America for the sin of slavery, but the truth is, throughout human history, slavery has existed, and America came along as the first country uh, to end it within 150 years. And we get no credit for that to move forward and try and make well, good we, on we that. Well, we did have a, a very bloody civil yeah. war. We're over that and issue. We also, and we also are a long the, time. The, the racial to history, and the remnants it. of the civil war, right. particularly blacks in the South, Correct. Yes. That, that was not and an easy and path. Still, I mean, that was bloody and violent and deadly. And there were Native we Americans here when we that. showed up. Yeah, we're yes. still, we my my point is that we were the, that the country true. that decided to end it, and we're still dealing with the issue. But if you want to start a problem and to inflame racial tension even more, start blaming people who have nothing to do with slavery for the sin of slavery. That is not fair. That's not the American way, and we shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all, um, this was a tweet that historian Kevin Cruz sent to little Katie Pavlik. Years between independence and the abolition of slavery. Haiti, zero. Costa Rica, three. El Salvador, three. <laughs> Guatemala, three. Honduras, three. Chile, five. Bolivia, six. Uruguay, eight. Nicaragua, 17. Mexico, 19. Paraguay, 29. Colombia, 41. Venezuela, 43. Argentina, 45. Brazil, 66. USA, 87. Play her comment again, please. They keep blaming America for the sin of slavery, but the truth is, throughout human history, slavery has existed, and America came along as the first country uh, to end it within 150 years. And we get no credit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There are 15 other countries, Katie, who did it before we did. You lying. And then y'all, you got you got uh, 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 Kennedy, white woman libertarian, who was like, "Hey, hold the hell up, now, uh, Jim Crow, you know, slavery without shackles, that mm -hmm. kind of had an impact on black people as well." Here's what kills me: white folks want credit. It's like you should give us credit. I didn't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, I should give you credit because you didn't kill me. You, you should. You know what? You should give us credit because we allowed for you to have your own show. Mm. Mm. You, you, credit, y'all. She don't even understand 243 years of slavery, right. 10, 12 years of Reconstruction, and then 92 years of Jim Crow. Mm -hmm. Like 243 years of slavery, and then 243 years of slavery. Y'all free 10, 12 years. 243, 10, 12. Yeah, that's even exchange. This is how, this, this is idiot. Now, see, a lot of y'all out there got mad yesterday when word came out that Donald Brazil signed with Fox News. Let me give you my take on this. I ain't got a problem with it. You know why? Because you got to have light in darkness. You got to have folks who are willing to sit there and go, Katie, what the hell are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Now, Harris Parker didn't say much. I guess let the other white women handle it because she's the only black woman who's sitting up there. But the reality is, that's beyond stupid. And what you have to understand, folks, is that when a Katie Pavlik says this, she is having an impact on other stories as well. See, 
I ain't got a problem with the lion's den. Y'all have heard me say it. I will take on anybody on Fox News and Fox Business any day, anytime, anywhere. Run them up like it was a track meet. Sean Handy, Laura Ingram, Martha McCallum, Shannon Breen, Tucker Carlson, Lou Dobbs, don't matter to me. See, you have to fight fire with fire. You've got to expose the ignorance of these people. And the reason why you have to go on there is because when a Katie Pavlik says something that damn dumb, you have to understand that somebody is watching. And somebody who is watching will go, oh my goodness, I love Katie Pavlik. And Katie Pavlik said this, and I think she's smart, so therefore it must be true. No, you must have somebody there to counter ignorance. And we see it a whole lot. And so understand, folks, Katie Pavlik, not the only ignorant white woman out here. It's a whole bunch of people who think the same way Katie Pavlik does because they have never even bumped into a history book. Not read it, bumped into it. We are dealing with people in this country who have absolutely no clue about American history. These are the same people who literally think, yo, black soldiers and white soldiers were kicking it together in World War II, not even realizing when the war was over, you had literally fights between white and black soldiers in train depots the moment they got back into America. These are the people, y'all, who become anchors and TV hosts and who gets hired by Trump to be UN ambassador and to be spokeswomen and spokespeople in the State Department. Do y'all understand that? We cannot say we're going to avoid the folks at Fox News. Oh, hell no. You got to go right at them with truth. You got to bring integrity, character, honor, and consciousness to the battle. Now, I, did, I agree. Democrats chose not to have the debate on Fox News. Ain't no problem with me because Republicans had, didn't have one on MSNBC in 2016. But Donald Brazil signed with them. I ain't got a problem with it. Hell, sign 10 more black people. You got to have warriors who are fighting in, in an information. This is information warfare. Let me say this again, folks. This is information warfare. The reason this show exists is to counter the lies that you're seeing, is to be able to bring truth, to be able to enlighten you and empower you to get you to understand what's going on. We lose when we are unwilling to engage the crazy folks. Glenn Beck went on Sean Hannity and said, if Trump doesn't win in 2020, it is the end of America as we know it. Yes, Glenn, you're right. It's the end of America of white supremacy. It's the end of a crazy person sitting in the Oval Office who lies even when he wakes up. He'll lie about what time he woke up. He just makes up stuff. So yes, Glenn, it should be the end of an absolutely narcissistic, crazy, ignorant, demented person who is sitting in the Oval Office. Folks, Truth must always come to light. And I appreciate you, Katie Pavlik, for showing us your level of ignorance. Clearly, you didn't get into one of New York's elite schools because you would have <laughs> failed that on the test. But I want you all to understand, it's a whole bunch of Katie Pavlik's walking around here, and we got to take them down one by one. And if we got to hit them in the head with a history book, now some of y'all see right there, the conservatives like, oh my God, Roller's calling for violence against Katie Pavlik. No, what I'm saying is, Katie, pick up a book, any damn book, by a real historian. And I'm not talking about that hat, Dinesh D'Souza. Final comments, going down the line, I'll start with you, Malik. Uh, <laughs> well, in this particular case, um, you know, I actually watched it. I watch Fox every day. And Damn. This is, surprise, shock. Surprise, I, surprise. Hello. Can, can the Republican Damn. just say something on the set without getting That's painful, talking? brother. So, so I literally, so I watch it. That's painful. Go ahead. I watch it every day. I watch that show every day. I watch Harris Faulkner every day. Fox <sighs> News has 
a, a lot of actual solid journalists on their show. On this particular segment, <laughs> on this particular segment that I saw today, the pushback that you saw from I can't, Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy, that's the same sort of pushback that you see on Fox when these type of things come. You know, when these type of things happen. So I'm happy. Well, I, actually, Kennedy you don't always see something. that because a lot of times. Well, I watch it all the time. Well, well, no, because really, I saw a clip the other night uh, where Shannon, where uh, Martha McCallum, she had a woman on. She didn't push back her craziness because a lot of times what they'll do is play the game that only have one guest and not have another guest who can push back against their nonsense. That, that may be true, but that is... No, 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 wait, 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 hold on, is stop, Julian, wait, wait, uh, Malik, 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 it ain't that may be true, that is true. Okay, but she's a solid journalist. Who? Martha. Right, but the nonsense she had, uh, like, when she quoted... Maybe so, but, the, dude, but that's something that you saw the clip when she, NBC or Hold on, you saw the clip when she quoted MLK? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play it for you tomorrow. Uh, Julian, go ahead. The, the, here's the issue, Roland, as you pointed out, you have these dumb white women and others who have not had an encounter with a book ever. You're absolutely right that she should be assaulted with a book, but let's make it a soft fact, no, a paperback, not a... No, 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 again, when we she say assaulted, assaulted with a book, That's... we're saying educated. Mm -hmm. she book should upside be. the head, book upside she the head. Be. Because basically, you... There are so many episodes of black history that we, that people don't know. That you don't have conversations with white people. They don't know about Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know, they don't know about Black Wall Street. I have and a lot of black folks don't know, but go ahead. I've had arguments with folks where they will tell me that after <laughs> enslavement, everything was cool. Not knowing about the Got stealing it. of our land, the conversations about reparations. And so this woman should not really be on the air. Cleo Monago, right? final comment. I hope to see what Brazil actually does. I'll probably be asking you, Malik, what it happens. I don't, <laughs> got it. I don't got. I have to eat. I don't watch Fox. But what I want to say before you get rid of me, Roland, is that I don't believe that all these white people who you're calling ignorant are quote unquote ignorant. I think they're doing industrial strength, white supremacy deflection. Got it. <laughs> they don't care about the truth. That's one thing I want to make real clear. They don't care about what happened in slavery. They're trying to psychological. They're doing psychological. War. And that's why I said informational warfare. Yes. They do, they don't, they're, not, they're not as ignorant as, as, as they say. No, no, they're, they're ignorant. They're, they're, they're ignorant, ignorant, they're ignorant but I know the game. They I got it. They want white some supremacy to, not, to look like it's not a bad thing. I know. They used to say that we enjoy being slaves. Remember that? I that understand. We were that, that we were in a cotton field singing. And they, they knew we were being lynched at the same time. I got you. So, they, so we're, we keep assuming that they're rational. No, 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 no. No, hold on. No, no, hold on. Hold up. I never. Hold up. I can call you ignorant and not assume you're rational. I don't They're not rational. No, no, no. No, they have a strategy is what I'm saying. I understand. She When she says that deflective crap, which is all over Fox. Got it. They're doing that to create a narrative in the society. Got it. Flex any clarity about what's really going on so they can stay in power. All right, folks. Back to that Roland Mark unfiltered video in just one moment. Calling all HBCU alumni, yes, students, sir. and leaders <laughs> enter the Ford Motor Company HBCU Mobility Challenge and win $25,000 for your school uninterrupted. <laughs> Building on their long-term support of HBCUs, Ford is looking to improve mobility in HBCU communities through innovative solutions. The winning program will receive a grant of up to $25,000 to implement their proposal. The deadline to apply is March 31st, 2019. Go to F gb.life it's right there fgb.life for more information and to apply for goes further in our community and we certainly want to thank them for being a partner with roland martin unfiltered now back to your roland martin unfiltered video